All right, for USA turn two, they are now at war. And so they can start building in earnest. So for the Atlantic side of the board, they're going to buy two new transports, two new infantry, and two new artillery. On the Pacific side of the board, they're going to buy a new carrier, a new sub, and a new transport, and they're going to save a dollar. Uh, they will be making some attacks in the Atlantic, so let's have a quick look up here. Uh, first off, they will be attacking C-Zone 103 with their destroyer, uh, the two fighters from the carrier, and the uh, strategic bomber from uh, Washington. What the hell was that? Oh, that was a... Okay. Um, they will also be uh, performing an amphibious assault on Morocco with... Um, two transports with an infantry and a tank, an infantry and an artillery, and an offshore shot from their cruiser. Uh, that's on the Atlantic side of the board. On the Pacific side of the board, they will be making two attacks as well. They will be making an attack on the two transport ships uh, around uh, Sea Zone 26 um, with um, a submarine, a destroyer, and a damaged battleship. They will also be making landings in Hawaii with um, three infantry and an artillery. Uh, they will be supporting the Hawaiian landings with two um, uh, fighter planes, which will then land on a carrier that's going to come in and, uh, and pick them up. So that should be the combat. So let's, uh, let's set up the board and roll some dice. Okay, for the Sea Zone 103 attack, the German submarine U-80 is being attacked by the American destroyer, the USS Parker. Um, two fighters from the aircraft carrier USS Ranger and a strategic bomber. So we have uh, two, two threes, and a four against a one. Three hits, so everything but the bomber missed. And here's the defense. Miss. So the C-Zone's cleared and the Americans lose nothing. Okay, for the American amphibious landing in Morocco, the American transport ship, the SS George Hawley, is bringing in infantry and an artillery. The transport ship, SS Patrick Henry, is bringing in infantry and a tank, and there will be an offshore shot from the USS Quincy uh, cruiser. So we have two twos for the support of infantry. Um, sorry, that should be a one. For the unsupported infantry, a three for the tank and a three for the offshore shot. With two hits. So they will lose that and they will lose that. So three defense. And they got two hits as well. So the Americans will lose their infantry. Uh, and they have left a two and a three basically. Both of them, so they will take the territory, but the Italians do get to defend, and they hit. So the Americans take the territory with a fair bit of casualties, but they do have a tank. Okay, this is an auto kill, but for the Sea Zone 26 attack, the two um, Japanese transports, the Akagi Maru and the Aikoku Maru. Um, will be uh, attacked by the American submarine uh, SS-279 Snook, the destroyer of the USS Meade, and the damaged battleship, the USS Indiana. Um, this is to pave the way for the amphibious landings of the SS Brown Victory and the SS Nathaniel Courier. So we'll see what happens there. Um, this is, again, an auto kill. There's no rolling necessary, but the two um, transports are sunk. All right, for the attack on Hawaii, the transport ship SS Brown Victory has two infantry, and the transport ship SS Nathaniel Courier has an infantry and an artillery, and there will be two fighters um, supporting the attack as well. So with two ones, two twos, and two threes. Two hits. So two of the three infantry are killed. There's three infantry and an artillery defending. No hits, so good for the Americans. Two hits, that will take the territory. 
Japanese defend and miss. So the Americans take back Hawaii with no casualties whatsoever. Okay, in terms of non-combat movement for the Americans, the carrier in C-Zone 101 is going to come to 91, and the two planes in the C-Zone 103 attack are going to land on the carrier. The um, strap bomber from 103 is going to fly on to the uh, air base in uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, that's it for the Atlantic side of the board. On the Pacific side of the board, the uh, two fighters that participated in the attack on Hawaii will go into C-Zone whatever the hell this is, 26, and the carrier from C-Zone 10 will not bring its planes, but will bring itself uh, to this C-Zone, and the fighters will land on it. The two, um, uh, the fighter and the attack bomber that were in C-Zone 10 are just going to stay there and get built on the brand new carrier that's going to be coming in pretty soon. Uh, so that should be the movement. When I tidy up the board, we'll come back with placement and money. Okay, placement of new units on the Atlantic side are two new transports are going to go into C-Zone 101. The infantry, the two infantry and two artillery are going to be built in the eastern United States. And then over on the Pacific side of the board, in C-Zone 10 around San Francisco, we are going to build our new carrier and place our new, or our old um, air units on that. And we will have a submarine and a new transport. Okay, in terms of money, uh, there are two changes. The Japanese are going to lose a dollar. And the Italians are going to lose a dollar. So if we go over to the income chart... Do, 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 do. A riveting video, I know. Okay. The income chart. The Italians go down one. The Japanese go down one. And the Americans go up two to 51. So, uh, they will collect a base income of 51 IPCs. Remember, they saved an IPC from last time. Uh, they get a 10 IPC bonus for controlling uh, the Eastern and Western United States, a 5 IPC bonus for Mexico and all those uh, Central American stuff, and a 5 IPC bonus for controlling all of their islands right now. Uh, so they're going to end up with 52, 62, 72 IPCs to spend at the beginning of round 3, and they are very much in the war at this point. Um, so we'll see what happens next. Uh, okay, next up is France. I'll probably tack this on to the end of this video again like I did last time. So um, stay tuned for that. Yeah, just really, really quickly, French stuff. Um, I can do the, all the movement and all that stuff right now. There's only three moves. French Central Africa, the guy's going to move to French Equatorial Africa. That's one. The... Um, uh, destroyer in C-Zone 76 is going to come up here and attempt to give some protection to the C-Zone 81 uh, British transport ship. Uh, and then the uh, infantry in Syria will move south into Transjordan to be a bit of a blocker. Uh, and that should be it. So France is done. And we are going to go to Germany. Turn three. We'll see what they start doing with uh, all of the stuff they have there. Uh, probably too much for sea lion probably too much to attack that naval stack there so with the americans in the war germany's suddenly very uh very open so we'll see what happens next again japan may have made a mistake by bringing the americans into the war this early